Yeah, very disappointing that there were all these dead fish. Neighbors angry tonight over a chemical spill that killed more than a thousand fish in a local creek. They argue it all could have been prevented. It's 11 o'clock. Good evening. I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Kelly Day. Thanks for joining us. That tanker truck overturned on Cornelius Pass Road near Northwest 8th Avenue. Some of the more than 2,000 gallons that spilled from it and leaked into the nearby tributary lead to McCarthy Creek. Jolie Winaga is live now in Northwest Portland. And a lot of neighbors there are outraged about this, Joel. Kelly, good evening. Uh, that tributary is about 30 feet below me here on Cornelius Pass Road. Neighbors, as you mentioned, were under the impression that the liquid fertilizer that uh, leaked into the tributary posed no threat to humans and aquatic life. Well, it turns out they were only half correct. Uh, there's some sort of dead fish right there, also. I can't. Neighbor Sean Penny is disappointed over the dead aquatic life in this tributary near his home of Cornelius Pass Road. Uh, this fertilizer is depleting the um, oxygen from the, from the water, which then kills the fish. So it's a mess. That mess stems from an overturned tanker on Cornelius Pass Road Wednesday morning that spilled more than 2,400 gallons of liquid fertilizer, with some of it leaking into the tributary leading into McCarthy Creek. The accident shut down Cornelius Pass for more than a day, allowing crews with DEQ and the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife to take care of the leak on the road and in the water. We came down with our cameras and we were taking pictures of some uh, dead fish and other animals in this tributary. These are photos of some of the amphibians taken by Penny. In all, ODFNW says more than 1,000 fish were killed as a result of the spill. The trucking company responsible, Wilco, says in a statement tonight, quote, We are deeply saddened by the loss of any fish at the site and are committed to working with the DEQ and ODFNW until it is all cleaned up. DEQ officials assure neighbors like Sean Penny the liquid fertilizer is non-hazardous to humans, but little consolation to the aquatic life lost in the area. Neighbors say overturned trucks like this have become all too common on this infamous stretch of Cornelius Pass Road. It's disturbing to see all this truck tip over and all these dead fish today, but what's even more disturbing is that I know in the future there's going to be more accidents like this because these curves in this part of the road is not going to be fixed. Back live now, wildlife officials say the trucking company Wilco could be a fined or billed for the cleanup. They also could be billed for the uh, spill as well. In the meantime, Cornelius Pass Road between Skyline and Highway 30 reopened around 8 o'clock tonight. Reporting live here in Northwest Portland, I'm Joel Iwanaga, Coin 6 News. Kelly and Jeff, back to you. Joel, thank you. Some